At any given moment, there are approximately 313,000 victims of human trafficking in the state of Texas. Three years ago, Unbound Bryan College Station made it their mission to support survivors of human trafficking here in the Brazos Valley. We support survivors of human trafficking and then we resource the community through a variety of ways, through prevention, education and awareness, um, by giving trainings on what does it look like, how is it happening in our community and what can you do to change that. Since 2018, Unbound has served 28 survivors and trained over 4,000 individuals in the community. While 60% of human trafficking victims in the United States have histories in child welfare, Amanda Binger has made it her mission to protect Brazos Valley youth. Um, I have spent most of my career as a child welfare attorney representing children as an ad litem in child abuse and neglect cases and a few years ago just realized that there is a gap in our community to serve the most vulnerable, which are exploited youth. According to the National Human Trafficking Hotline's data, Texas had the second highest number of human trafficking cases in America in 2019, with 1,080 reported cases. While many may not suspect Aggieland to be susceptible to the modern-day slavery, the reality is that our most vulnerable are being targeted and trafficked here in the Twin Cities. We have a more larger, general, younger population in our community. I think that's a factor. I think our location right in the middle of Houston, San Antonio, and Fort Worth, that Texas Triangle, is an interesting location. Just the general makeup of our community makes us susceptible. Susceptible not only for our daughters. Human trafficking victims in the U.S. are men and women, adults and children. Human trafficking does not discriminate. Uh, we have seen across the spectrum um, in terms of age, um, ethnicity, background, and so, and that's true for our community. Friday night, Unbound is holding their annual Night of Hope to bring the community together to raise awareness and funds to help survivors of human trafficking. Night of Hope was created to bring awareness and to bring education to our community about what does human trafficking look like? How is it happening in our community? And what can our community do to come together and unite and say, not in my city, to the exploitation of the most vulnerable?